Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to graph polar equations and there's four types that we're going to see with polar equations and we're going to start with circles and the equations we're going to be looking at are r equals a times cosine of theta or r equals a uh, times sine theta. So these are the ones that we're going to look at first. Okay, so um, I'll do subsequent videos dealing with the, the last three here, but we're going to concentrate on circles in this first video. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our first example, and we're going to go ahead and graph the polar equation r equals 4 cosine theta with theta in radians. Okay, so there's a couple ways we can do this. Okay, so the idea here is I'm going to look at multiples. So I'm going to make a table of values. Okay, so we're going to start, we're going to make a table of values and we're going to have theta and we're going to have the value of r cosine theta, r equals 4 cosine theta. Okay, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and write the ordered pair here. So now we know what to plot. Okay, and so what I'm going to do in this specific example is go in multiples. So we're going to go uh, pi over six multiples. Okay, and that can change depending on the graph, but at least with this we'll get enough points to, to, to plot. Okay, so I'm going to start with zero, which is always fun. And the idea here is you're going to you're going to find okay theta is equal to zero, so I'm going to pick the angle. So you're going to have r equals 4 times cosine of 0 degrees. Well, the cosine of 0 is 1, okay, so that means r is going to be 4. So your first point there is going to be 4, comma, 0. That's our first polar point, okay? And then I'm going to go pi over 6. There's my second point, okay? So r equals, again, 4 times cosine of pi over 6, now the cosine of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. Okay, so it's going to be 4 times root 3 over 2. Okay, and this will become 3.5 and pi over 6. Okay, because I can simplify this. This, just, this is just 2 root 3. I'm going to run out of space, okay? Uh, I'm going to go to pi over 3. So 0, uh, 30 degrees, now 60 degrees, pi over 3. So r is going to equal 4 times cosine of pi over 3. Okay, now pi over 3 is 1 half, so it's 4 times 1 half, which is, is uh, 2. So you're going to now have the point 2 comma pi over 3. And this is just going to continue on and on until we get all the way um, to pi. And we're going to stop at pi because the values... Um, are going to start to repeat. Okay, so we don't need to do that. So the next one is pi over 2 at 90 degrees. So r equals 4 times cosine of pi over 2. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so this is 0. So you'll have r being 0, comma, at pi over 2. Okay, we'll go 2 pi over 3 now. So then it's just r equals 4 times the cosine of 2 pi over 3. Okay, which is going to equal negative 2. So you're going to have negative 2 and 2 pi over 3. How did I get negative 2 there? Well, the cosine of 2 pi over 3 is negative 1 half. Remember, think about symmetry, right? If pi over 3 is 1 half, it's on the other side of the unit circle where the y values are negative, or the x values are negative, excuse me. So there's 2 pi over 3. We'll do 5 pi over 6. And then the last one is, is pi. So I'll sneak and do pi here. So 4 times cosine of pi equals r. So that's 4 times negative 1. So we get negative 4 comma uh, pi. And then I'll go ahead and, and fill in the answer here for you. This one should be negative 3.5 and uh, 5 pi over 6. Okay, so those are our points. And now we get to plot each of these points. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this polar graph I have. Okay, so right here. And I'm in degree. I know it said radians. I, couldn't, I didn't have one I could print out. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start plotting my points. The first one is 4, 0. So let me go ahead and show you here 4, 0. Okay. And so that means I'm going to go out here 1, 2, 3, Four, so four zeros right here is my first point. Okay, my second point is pi over six. 
and three and a half. So let's look at how we plot that. So it's three and a half and pi over six. So one, two, three, the dotted line's the half, and then I go up to pi over six, which is 30 degrees, which is right here. There's my second point. My third point, pi over three and two. So my radius is two, so I go out to one, two, and I go up to pi over six, which is right here. Pi over six, or pi over three, excuse me, which is 60 degrees. Okay, now I'm gonna go to pi over two, and I have zero pi over two. So no radius out, zero, and pi over two is just going to be right here. We're not going anywhere. Normally go up if you had a positive radius, but it's right there at the pole, okay? And then I'm looking now at two pi over three. Two pi over three was negative two and two pi over three. So this one's interesting. So now I go pi over th two pi over three, which is 120 degrees, and I should go out to two, right? One, two, but it's negative. So that is a negative two, so watch what happens. I go out to 120 and I go, one, two, but I gotta go negative two, so it's back right here. And there is negative two, two pi over three. Okay, and now I've got five pi over six, which is negative three and a half and five pi over six. Five pi over six is here. Three and a half would be one, two, three, three and a half, but it's negative, so I go all the way back here to three and a half along that same line. Okay, and then again with uh, the last one, pi, okay, and I have pi and negative 4, so 4 and pi, 1, 2, 3, 4 is here, but negative 4 pi is right back where I started. So this graph, if I can do it nicely, is a nice circle that looks like this. That is the function that represents r equals 4 cosine theta. So if you have any questions or comments on how to plot uh, polar equations with circles that are circles, uh, you can type your questions below. We'll see you next time.